Now let's get more on our top story on the coronavirus because news is emerging that 6,000 people are currently on board a cruise ship near Rome due to a Chinese couple on board showing symptoms of uh, the coronavirus. None of the passengers are able to leave. The Costa Smeralda cruise ship docked uh, near Rome at the uh, port of Civitavecchia, but has not been allowed, no one has been allowed to disembark while the couple are checked by medical staff after suffering symptoms of fever and respiratory problems. Another Chinese couple are currently in hospital in Rome undergoing medical checks. Let's find out more about this with our Rome correspondent, Mark Lowen, who joins us now. What more can you tell us, Mark? Anita, we've just heard from the authorities in the port of Civitavecchia, which is near Rome. Uh, they say that the situation is under control, there is no panic at all, uh, and all the passengers on board the Costa Smeralda cruise ship have been informed as to why uh, they are being held there. Um, they, there are 6,000 uh, people on board the cruise ship. Uh, and they are not allowed to disembark while this Chinese couple, they are from Macau, um, are being checked by medical staff on board the cruise ship. Now, uh, the man, we are told, uh, is, is fine, uh, but the woman uh, has shown symptoms of fever and respiratory problems. Uh, that have raised suspicion, of course, that she has contracted c coronavirus. Uh, the couple uh, are reportedly, um, uh, reportedly flew from Hong Kong to Milan on the 25th of January. Uh, the cruise ship has already been to Marseille, Barcelona and Mallorca, and it was supposed to go on tonight to another Italian port, but of course it is being held uh, in Civitavecchia because uh, 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 it is not being allowed to continue with the journey at this point. That's interesting, looking at uh, the couple's movements, their travel before they got on board this cruise ship. Um, and, and presumably the cruise ship may have to stay put for a while. I don't know how long it might take for the, the medical authorities to either say um, this woman does have the virus or alternatively, alternatively to give her the all clear. Well, we've, ju we've just heard from, again from the authorities in Chief Debekia saying that they are hoping to get the results this afternoon. So uh, that would suggest that it will not be kind of days and days. I mean, unless, of course, if it were to be positive, then of course there would need to be tests on, on those with whom uh, she has come into contact. So that could prolong the, the, the stay. But clearly there will be some kind of clarity this afternoon if they are getting the results from, from her. Um, and then, of course, you know, if it were to be positive, that, that, could, that could be much, much more complicated. If it is negative, then presumably it would be given the green light to, to continue its journey. But of course, you know, having docked in these other ports previously, um, then, you know, we are looking at potentially something more international here. Um, there is also another couple who are uh, currently being checked at a hospital in Rome um, uh, for uh, symptoms, showing symptoms of, of uh, the, the coronavirus. Uh, there are 15 countries now that are believed to have uh, had been infected with the virus or, whether, or the, the virus has spread to. Um, Italy has, is, is sending a plane today, we understand, to Wuhan, the epicenter of the virus, to evacuate its nationals. There are reportedly between 60 and 70 Italians in Wuhan, uh, but we are not being told whether all of them would want to come because uh, some of them, of course, uh, would be presumed to be dual nationals and have family there in Wuhan and possibly would not want to be evacuated straight away. OK, Mark, thank you for uh, bringing us up to date on that development. Uh, Mark Lowen in Rome. And I'm joined now in the studio by our health editor, Hugh Pym. Hugh, for more details uh, on what will happen to the Britons who are in China once they get back here. Obviously, we know we've been reporting today that the flight uh, they were due to leave on uh, has been delayed. We don't know exactly when they'll make it back to the UK. But once they are here, what happens next? Well, Anita, Downing Street have confirmed that the flight will land at a military base and then the passengers will be taken to an NHS facility. Now, I understand it'll be RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire. Then they'll be taken to accommodation in the northwest of England. Now, we've not been told where that is, but I understand it's former NHS accommodation, possibly flats for nurses uh, and other NHS staff. And that's where they'll be for two weeks. It will be quarantine, so they won't be allowed to leave and um, go and go and visit other people. It's not clear about family visits. It is the case that the air crew on the flight over from Wuhan will wear masks and some form of protect protective clothing. Also, 
the bus drivers who will have to take them from Bryce Norton to this facility. Now, so, that's... so those individuals, they won't be quarantined because they're wearing protective clothing? Yes, exactly. So, so the, 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 the staff involved in transporting them there won't be quarantined. But just to be clear, there's no evidence or suggestion that any of these, say, 200 British citizens coming back uh, actually have the virus. Quarantine is purely to give them two weeks, the incubation period, to be absolutely clear they haven't got it. And we still haven't had any cases yet in the UK, though more than 100 tests have been carried out. So their health will be monitored on the plane, as far as we understand. Uh, there will be presumably an initial check when they get to, uh, if it is indeed RAF Bryce Norton, uh, and then their health will continue to be monitored once they, they arrive at this facility in the northwest? Absolutely. So public health officials uh, and doctors will be there uh, on hand, wearing protective clothing, we understand, to advise them, to monitor their symptoms. And if somebody does uh, feel unwell, then they'll be presumably isolated there and a test will be carried out. And if they're given the all clear, they'll still have to wait for the end of the two week period just to be sure, because that is the incubation period. They could have the virus even without displaying any symptoms. Has there been anything like this uh, in terms of the scale and a quarantine situation that you can think of, Hugh? No, we were inquiring about this yesterday. So you had the swine flu epidemic back in 2009-10 with hundreds of thousands of cases around uh, the world that affected the UK. There was nothing, nothing like that. Similarly with SARS uh, seven or eight years earlier. The slight difference there is it was obvious when people had the virus because they were ill and could be treated and, and maybe isolated from others. The difficulty here is you're, you're just not sure if somebody coming back from Wuhan who appears absolutely healthy doesn't have the virus. Okay, Hugh, thank you very much. Hugh Pym, our health editor. Uh, meanwhile, 6,000 people are currently uh, blocked, unable to leave a cruise ship near Rome uh, due to uh, a Chinese couple, or indeed uh, one half of a Chinese couple, showing symptoms of coronavirus. The Costas Merelda cruise ship is docked uh, in uh, Rome, uh, but has not been allowed to uh, disembark any passengers while the uh, couple are checked by medical staff after suffering symptoms of fever and respiratory problems. Another Chinese couple is currently in hospital in Rome undergoing medical checks. Well, our Rome correspondent Mark Lowen joins us now for more on this. So what's the, the latest you have on the situation? That's a lot of people on board that ship uh, waiting for confirmation, I guess, one way or the other, or the other whether this passenger has coronavirus. Yeah, indeed, Anita, but we are told that the situation is calm, that there is no panic at all while these tests are carried out. We've spoken to the cruise company uh, where the, the, the ship is being held in Civitavecchia near Rome, and they have confirmed to us that it is the woman uh, in, within the couple who uh, has shown symptoms of coronavirus with a fever, um, and she's 54 years old, and uh, she is having blood tests on board. She's in isolation on board while those tests are carried out. Now, they, uh, the couple had flown from Hong Kong. They're originally from Macau. They had flown from Hong Kong to Milan on the 25th of January, and then joined the Costa Smeralda cruise ship, which made its way to Marseille, Barcelona, Mallorca, and then back here to Italy. And it was due to leave Civitavecchia to go further north in Italy this evening, but it is being held in the port while those tests are carried out. And what news of the other couple in hospital, Mark? They're, those tests are also still uh, being carried out in a hospital in central Rome. Um, uh, th uh, so far, there have not been any confirmed cases in Italy. Uh, Italian authorities have send, uh, are sending a plane to Wuhan, to the epicentre of the virus in China, to evacuate Italian nationals within the next 72 hours, we understand. The Deputy uh, Health Minister has said that 40 Italians will be evacuated, fewer than the n total number of, of those with Italian nationality from Wuhan, because presumably some people are, are, are want to stay put because perhaps they have Italian, uh, they have uh, Chinese um, uh, husbands and wives, or etc., or, or, or dual nationality and they don't want to leave but we are we're told 40 it, uh, Italian nationals will be evacuated from Wuhan within the next 72 hours. Okay Mark thank you very much Mark Lowen there in Rome for us.